down. Start that up. <clears throat> Alright, let's get getting angry. Let's get mad. bit of a joke. Just jokes, people. Well, not really. I did actually get mad. Am I remembering? Yes. Probably check Fabio and whatnot, but meh. Honestly, though, this is like the perfect use of my time. As soon as I have this done, it's really just time to go ham on grinding. Meh. Um, because the, the, now that I have chapter 6 unlocked, the ABS is just worthless here. Ugh. Oh, that seems good. Um, I'm kind of wishing I'd have kept that playthrough. Instead of just resetting at the end there. I can't believe those speed of shots. done. Um, I'm trying to think if I need to... Yeah. It's probably just smarter to open up the Pokemon Fan 4000 video on how he gets through the barrier. I'm just thinking if I don't have any spare swings, do I want to just go with the regular walk right up and then place the sphere, or do I want to give myself a little wiggle room? Probably actually throw some stones. Oh, 
that chili's so good. This is probably the most protein I've ever actually had in like a week, just outright. No protein shakes. Not that protein shakes are like cheating or anything like that. Um, I just think when you can drink a chocolate milk and it gives you 30 grams of protein, it's a bit cheaty. But... result of nervousness. And they're not really going to be able to celebrate or not enjoy, but relax um, until this is over. I really want to play. Um, so here I am. But sadly, like I said, any grinding on low levels is pretty much worthless at this point. However, this this floor is not. Chapter two is not worthless, spe uh, specifically this one. So we can grind it and get the ride pot up. However, I think we should have been done. I definitely feel like I got cheated on that last one. Oh wow, did I pick up everything? Oh, close. Oh wow, double keys. Wow. Interesting. Which I'm gonna go red. Very good. Here you are. Not bad. Let's see three. Actually, sure, how far to put that down range. I think I'm safe to go pretty far, actually. Well, that's what I wanted, I guess. Just a little further back, man. Wait, 
maybe. No! Why is this game doing this to me? <laughs> no! That's... That sucks, dude. No, I don't want to quit playing. Oh, that fucking sucks. That was perfect. Oh, that was the perfect shot. That's so fucked up. been such a good celebration we could be grinding in like five minutes oh that one took the wind out of my sails immediately dang i said i wouldn't do it earlier i said if the shot uh, it wasn't even too difficult that, sh oh, that was a hand me that was so easy it was perfect. Why? Why level five? Why can the sphere roll through that? That's so stupid. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so weird. Man, that sucks. Hey, how's it going? You just missed, I don't know if you saw it, but the, uh, the most heartbreaking speed of shot ever. Oh, nice, you're in the ninth round. Are you gonna, you're not giving up your uh, personal best though. You said that's staying. What are you doing after that? You're gonna get to 11, but... Well... It was the 11th. I didn't know if you'd maybe try for like a barren record or anything. You have inspired me though. Um, I think I might actually try to do the fishing contest once I try to catch my next Kaji. Instead of just throwing them away, I'll probably actually hold on to them for once. I originally held on to all my heaviest fish. But then one fishing session, I went for like 16 hours, and I was just like, I'm getting rid of everything in my inventory. Yeah, you just never repeat the first... I See, I've never seen it from my own eyes, but... I'm just taking their word for it. Yes, well, is it a, is it a 10 tier or a 9 tier loop then technically? It's 10 tiers with a 9 tier repeating loop, right? No, would it be 9 tiers? No, it's 10 it's 10 tiers with 9 tiers of loop. No. It's 10 tiers of loot, they just replace. Yeah, 10 tiers actually tier one. Okay. Okay. See, I didn't know that. Okay, oh, okay, 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 okay. I'm getting it. Is 
It's but it's a nine tier loop with ten pieces to it. They just re loop them, is I think what I'm understanding. I completely misunderstood the uh, rewards. I thought you got, um, what's the one that helps with monster transformation? A lot of the prizes should have been better, but I don't want to get into that. That's a whole argument, or not even argument, just rant. It's not even, you don't even have to argue it. Um, what was it? Sun badge. For some reason, I confused Sunstone and Moonstone with the Sun Badge and Moon Badge, and I thought you could get multiple badges to make your monster transformation better. But obviously, I misunderstood. Yeah, I completely misunderstood the reward. I was so excited. I was just like, oh my gosh, if you could farm badges, but obviously you cannot. I wish the photo album counted so you could like get the badges early. At least I don't think it does. I don't think it counts towards that. I'm like 98% sure it doesn't. That'd be so cool. I'm, yeah, no, I think. 17th and 8th tiers. Okay, so. It is, yeah. That's funky. So I almost wonder, there's probably not, but I almost wonder if there is something to like. So yeah, like, I wonder if there, there isn't, but, like, tier 20. Like, what, the reward for tier 20 you would think would be great, but logically it'd actually be terrible, wouldn't it? You'd be on a weird rotation. It's so funny to me that stuff like this, like... Fishing contest and breeding giant fish and all this other stuff has just been pretty much knocked out of the park in like four months. It's a mystery for years. Oh, I don't have the picture anymore, but I think I've gotten that before. Duplicated fish, obviously. I cheated. Well, I wouldn't have had to cheat because I had a 614 and two 584s. If I had held on to them, I could actually have beaten that. I bet. I had three fish legitimately large enough, I bet. I don't know the math on that, um, but I did catch those three fish. Sunstone you can get. Oh. Great point. How many sunstones can you actually use, though? I mean, phenomenal point. As somebody, as somebody who tries to collect as many nonsensical items as possible, I'm so glad you just said that. Thank you. Um, but how many can you actually use? Like, two? I actually don't even have the recipe for Nova Cannon 4. I never bother. Mostly because I don't want to go into Chapter 8 because I've been saving it for like, three years. Oh yeah, so... 
That'd be insane. You would have to catch fish like I do to do that. Holy shit. Did I just get no fish? What time is it? Oh, it's 9 a.m. I've just been standing here. Wow. No fish? That sucks. That's not as high as I thought it would be. That's the 614 FP. Yikes. Wow, so that almost makes me like... So what size of fish would you need to catch to beat 41,500? You, you might be like reverse determining the largest fish possible with that. How, how... Hold on, can you... Are you, you basically... So is that... The last sunstone... Are the biggest fish in the game determined based on the last fishing contest sunstone? Did you did you just push me in? You figured that out. Come on, you figured that out. What is what is forty one five hundred? So forty one five hundred divided by three? Or no? So times three times twenty. What would the print? What I need to do? Divide by. Oh god, fucking, I don't remember my steps. So, no, that's the weight of the fish. So then divided by 20, right? 691. So 700 FP. So 700 FP Kaji. So that we, that, that, I mean, that proves it. That proves that they exist, basically. Either 691.66666 repeating, or no, it ends with a 7. So the question now is, do Kaji stop at 691 FP? <clears throat> Each new tier increases this quantity. Yeah, see, I don't know any of this stuff. So is there, there's nothing important that would come after that sunstone then, right? That's crazy. So you basically... So that's... Interesting. So do you think... Above... 700 FP would potentially be uncatchable. Do you think that's the legendary fish? Oh god, I can't read all that right now. But I will after this. Nobody paid attention to the fishing contest um, later tiers like that. 
Now that I'm thinking about it, though, I mean, that basically, like... So, the question is... Where, where does the final Kaji weight come from? Does it come from... The freaks of fish inside the aquarium? Does it come from an equation they did with... It, it sounds to me like an equation with the fishing contest. That's what it sounds like to me. Ah, I'm just gonna... In case I get so angry, I quit. <clears throat> I'm liable. <clears throat> I'm liable. If that, if, oh my god. <laughs> Excuse me. Something in my throat. Um, that Sveta shot, that, that's, I don't think I've ever been screwed so hard by this game. That, that Sveta shot, oh, it's actually breaking my heart just to think about that. I could be done right now. Oh my gosh. What was that at the 10 minute marker? Oh. If that second shot would have just landed, oh, I'm breaking my heart just thinking I can't think about it anymore. <laughs> There's actually a missing episode <clears throat> from my other playthrough because of how angry I got the last time I did this glitch. I think it took me three days. I think it took me three days of trying to pull off this glitch last time. I am not proud of that. sure what to believe then. I want to believe that 691 is the max because that makes my 614 better, but from what I've heard from other people, the most likely circumstance is that 750 is the max. However, your 100, 357, or 356 is now the highest 100 centimeter Kaji, which is crazy and might just show that they don't end. They might just keep getting bigger. There might be an uncatchable one, but it's like 800 FP. However, obviously we'd never know that. Where it's uncatchable. I just wish I was smart enough to look at code and understand it. Because like... We, we're gonna have to like wait for a hero for another like 10 years at this rate. Um, I was literally rereading all of our conversations. Um, my god, am I an asshole, but I'm never gonna hide that fact. I'm just an asshole. It is my nature. I'm 30. I don't really think I can change my first reaction always being to be an asshole. I can work on it, but... It's still my first reaction. Um, anyways, I was noticing that you brought up all those people who were making the mods for uh, Dark Cloud 1. And, like, I'm pretty sure they just put out another update for Dark Cloud 1's enhanced mod, and it's just like, oh shit, like, I don't think they're ever coming to Dark Cloud 2. I 
I mean, that's fine. Like, it's their passion. They can do whatever they want. But it's just like, dang. Like, they're so close. They're literally modding the first game. But, like, again, I'm not gonna get mad at somebody for not modding a game they don't like. It's just so sad that they literally could answer all of our questions, but... I, uh, I finally understood it with Monster Hunter. Sometimes the difference of, like, the first and second game is just enough. It's just that much. Um, they're like, you know, I finally get it. I actually played myself. <gasps> oh, no way. Oh yeah, no, I, that was the joke though, is it's gonna be 10 years at this point, because they're gonna have to like run out of things that they wanna do. Okay, okay, how many tries do I get? Two, no! <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna choke. I'm gonna screw this up. Oh no, 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 no. Why couldn't it give me three shots? <sighs> oh my gosh, how close do I have to get it? Pretty close, like right here? Yeah, like right in here. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my god, my mouth is literally dry. I'm so nervous. <laughs> Why couldn't it give me one extra shot? If it would have been anything but that, I would have been fine. Oh, <laughs> no, I knew I'd choke it. Oh, <laughs> oh dude. This fucking level breaks my heart. Oh, it needed to be just about anything but a perfect. I never hit that. God, that sucks. Okay, I'm gonna make an entire episode this time out of just me choking this. I, I spent, I think, three or four days doing this. And then literally I took a, like a month break because I got stuck in a tree and just like, it broke me. <laughs> that sucks, man. I was so close. If I would've hit... I, that whistle, dude, it literally makes my heart sink. The, I don't even know what it is, but like the percentage it increases, the strength and the like distance and bounce, it just, it ruins it. It's so like unpredictable to me. Damn it, dude, I was there. Oh. That one I just choked. That one wasn't even the game screwing me. <laughs> that sucks so much. 
If it would have just given me one more try, I probably could have gotten it. What's funny is people always complain about Balance Valley, but like Rainbow Butterfly Woods is the worst one. Like, bar none. Like, at least in Balance Valley, you can see that there's a cliff there. But like in Rainbow Butterfly Wood, you're like, okay, I'm safe. Like, what, what's the worst that could happen? And then you're like, oh, does it expect me to shoot through the trees? And the answer is yes. And you finally do make it through the trees and then you land in a bush and it's out of bounds. And it's like, oh, that sucked. Oh my gosh, dude, I can't believe that. I don't think I'm gonna see another one closer than that. That was like, Wait, could I have just moved it? I could have moved it once. No, I don't think I could have moved it. I don't think the second move would have been close enough. This sucks, man. This is like the worst out of bounds glitch, I think, in the game. Well, no. Mm, I don't know. This and the Palm Brinks one, because the Palm Brinks one is literally just standing there AFK for 30 minutes. I've only ever attempted that one once, because standing there for 30 minutes is the most boring. I mean, literally, you have to do something else. You cannot just sit there and stare at your screen for 30 minutes. But this one sucks because, like, you're, I mean, you're completely dependent on the speed of RNG and the orientation of the map, I think. I'm not actually sure. And it's one of the, like, the few complaints I have about Pokemon Fan 4000 is that, like, they use a cheat engine to give themselves infinite speed of swings. So, like, they could definitely test a bunch of stuff. But, like, in their videos, they don't showcase a whole lot, like... It's kind of crazy. Oh my god, thank god it's not a fishless night again. This is like the end of the night though, isn't it? Yeah. Ugh. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Oh, and in case you're wondering, I am doing another no defensive items challenge run. It's honestly not that much of a challenge. It's just like, don't get hit. But <clears throat> I think it's fun. I think when you keep up with the game, it kind of removes the challenge at a certain point. Um... Especially if you know the game super well and you know how to get every single uh, little chest. I can't remember what they're called. The mysterious chests? Something like that. Miraculous chest. Um, but what's even funnier is if you get out of bounds here and in Chapter 3's Starlight Canyon area, um, you can get extra chests and you can be even more overpowered. You can even, like, bypass, and I've said this many a times, um, you can even bypass the, uh, disappearing Fruit of Eden glitch by glitching into Chapter 6 early. Okay, that's long enough. So, I don't know if you play on emulator or not, you don't have to answer that. Some people are weird about it, I respect it, um... I proudly play on a PS2 and I have nothing to hide, which is goofy because it's elitism. Um, but what do you think about like all the changes they make where like they add mini bosses on the floors and stuff? Like I think that's cool, but I also think it needs to be like a separate version of the game because like, oh dang. 
wait, no, Cedric's... He's full, right? Yeah, no, that's fine. But, like, I think it'd be cool if every floor had, like, a little mini-boss or something, like, in the Zelmite Mines. I think, because, like, that's what- I'm pretty sure they did that to the first game. Um, they added, like, a mini-boss every ten floors or something like that to the last game's dungeon. Something like that? Or it's every ten floors in the game? I can't remember. Um, which is a really cool idea, but, like... I don't like it when people change non-broken glitches or mechanics and stuff that, like, doesn't need outright change in a 20-year-old game. Like, I like it when people add their own flair, but, like, I think they should call it a ROM hack at that point. Like, in Pokemon, they do. Like, they call it Pokemon Radical Red or Pokemon Shining... Uh, what is that one that they recently came out with? Um, Brilliant Diamond and Shining... Uh, Pearl or something like that, where they made like the cute little version of Pokemon, the fan one. <clears throat> but I just, I don't necessarily like it when people mod a game and they're just like, here you go, here's the enhanced game. And it's just like, whoa, okay, you changed a lot. It does just break my heart that that is most likely a side effect of them data mining the game as well, is that they're gonna just smash it as well. Although, what do I care? I play on a PS2. What's so funny is I'm, like, over here hoarding this ABS from each run, trying to level up Steve, but, like, it would take me two runs. Actually, it would take me one and a half runs to get what I need. Oh, it's raining. Um, if I remember correctly, rain actually helps with something. Gobblers, maybe? Well, what's it? It, rain does something. I think rain... No. It doesn't help with gobblers. It helps with your bite chance. Or no. God, it's so dumb. It doesn't help with your bite chance. It lowers your chance to not get a missed bite. Also, I think that's our ninth flame stone. Hear ye, hear ye. Um. Yes! Missile pod arm! We still have to get our core power up. Um, I think it said 3,500 is what I needed. I already made Machine Gun Arm. Machine Gun Arm's probably going to be my main this playthrough. It really only misses out on, like, Pixies and, uh, what are they? Bats. Well, those types of enemies. There's obviously different names for those types of enemies. Come on, there we go. There are definitely some things though that like I would agree with changing in this game. Um, for instance, I think wealth should make a much larger impact. Uh, 
Um, by the time you get wealth, it's borderline useless. Like, unless you farm coins in this game, you're not getting wealth at a point in the game where it matters. Um, there are some recipes I would change. I'm still not sure how I feel about your recipes to make the final tea. Wait, did I have 10? When did I get another flamestone? I was wait. God dang it. Um, I definitely agree with the idea that they should be recipes. But I just think that you'd have to be careful because otherwise, like, they make the name change ticket almost useless. I'm back. Okay, yeah, no, go go ahead. Go off. Um, sorry, don't let me keep you. I'm just gonna keep rambling. Um, I will ramble yeah. infinitely. Get your rest. I honestly thought you were asleep already. <laughs> but it was good chatting with you. It is always nice. That is two records now that I've actually caught you, uh, catching. Your personal best, and the 100 centimeter world record. That's insane. I wonder if I should fish this time. Maybe we'll see where the, the sphere is. That's, that was so heartbreaking. I think I'm actually going to have to keep all these recordings. I deleted them all last time and I kind of regret it because the amount of stuff I actually showcased. I got out of bounds in so many like sweet spots. I might have actually gotten out of bounds again. I said this in the last one. I might have actually gotten bounds in a spot that nobody has before because I technically got out of bounds wrong. I don't know. I... I think I, yeah, I'm almost 95% sure I just, like, deleted that recording, so I got so mad. Oh my gosh, I, I, what I ended up doing was getting out of bounds at the wrong, uh, exit, and then running around, like, on the edge of the map. Um, and then I fell, I just jumped off the edge of the map, because I was just like, man, do I have to fall, like, the other, like, map? Like, do I have to fall off the barrier and then fall into the star path? And then, like, I did it and just immediately fell inside one of these trees. And it's like a tube. Like, the tops of them are, like, hollow. Like, you can fall straight through it. Um, and then, as you go down the tree, it becomes solid. And, like, it just trapped inside. And it was like, oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, this is another bad one. Oh, why, dude? This is what I'm talking about. Like, what? Like, this is absolutely worse than anything Balance Valley has to offer. Like, at no point was I thinking, like, I was even the one bitching and complaining about how awful this is. And I didn't even think about how possible, like, how badly this could be. This is just terrible, man.
Oh my gosh, here we go. next to it and then go inside the stupid golden barrier. Nope, it's that giant tree again. Perfect. My insanity deepens. sucks. It really does. Oh, wait, no. I'd rather go catch a Mardan. Honestly, the sooner I make a Kubera's hand into a Big Buck's hammer, the better. I was afraid to get a drink while I'm waiting, as I should be. Their next record's right around the corner. What 
ya. It will be nice though, because if I use chapter 6 to do all my grinding, like right away, I will feel no obligation to pick up the ABS and gold, like from the early stages. Which wasted a lot of time when I originally tried to do the Sfida down there. Because I'd sit around and wait for the ABS to drop, because I was like, oh, I can do all my battle wrenches down here, because it actually isn't that slow. But, like, it is. It is. Um, if I just drive through there with my guns ablazing, I can be done in, like, minutes versus, like, two or three minutes every single time, because I had to pick up the ABS. I didn't have to, but it was most efficient, whereas just grinding and looking for the wind gym is most efficient. I should probably just go ahead and... Oh. I wonder what happens if I just go ahead and do looking for the wind gym. Probably not good things. Oh, it's absolutely why those didn't, uh, those fruits didn't spawn in those, because they, they won't until you have the second area of lens. That's interesting. So I guess I didn't prove that it fixes the glitch. I just proved that you can circumnavigate it. Alright, how long should I wait? Another 30 seconds, maybe? What am I saying? I use the change of watercolor here all the time to indicate when I should leave. I was just talking about that today. I absolutely use the color of water to indicate when I should stop fishing here. I think I got really mad about how these couldn't kill like pixies and bats last time. Like really mad. And I stopped using it. It might not be able to hit any flying enemies. That might be what's like so annoying about it and I just don't remember. I remember something being awful about it and flying enemies, but for some reason I remember it being like true flying enemies, not just like hovering ones. Flying type, not levitate. Jafiel. Jafiel, nana. All right, it should be uh, not so fun for the enemies now.
Wow, that breaks quick. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, there's a chest down there. I didn't even see it. I was too distracted by my hulking machine guns. This is an insane... Uh, what am I playing? Armored Core? Clown body is gonna be so great. I can't see because of these machine guns. Holy crap. Only current complaint about them. They're insane. Holy crap. make it yet, but eventually I'll be able to make the better version. Huh, so I guess I should make a save. And just like, blast through the game. And see if the uh, fruit of Eden spawns, like, based on if I pick up the weapon shop one or not. I might do that, like, way later once I have, like, max weapons. Okay. Heartbreak time or what? What are we doing? Uh, I don't know what that is. It's heartbreak. It's always heartbreak, isn't it? That's the tree I want right there. I think I just go for it. Hit the 
top of the fucking tree. not choke once. Nope, it was too hard anyways. I could have used that though. Man, I just... Can't, can't get it together. It sucks. I mean, like, obviously the game could, could give me one extra fucking swing, but, like, I, I can't get that first. You need that first good swing to really set you up. Okay, now I gotta remember to send Cedric back when I start the process. Dang, man. Hitting the top of the tree screwed me, I think. I mean, it, it put me in a good spot. I just still choked. But I think if I could have soared... <sighs> Damn, that's like the fourth fucking time that's happened. That's crazy. Um, I think if I could have soared over the tree, I think the bounce back would have been enough for me. Because I had a whistle, so it was going to be a huge bounce. So if it stayed in bounds, I think I was gonna. Well, you know what? With my luck that's been going on, it would have hit the barrier and been out of bounds. It would have been a perfect shot backwards and touched the barrier. Wow. That sucks. Okay. Um. Let's just go stand around then. I guess I need to go unlock Yorda's Valley so I can fish that. I hate fishing there. Would I rather have chances at catching a bigger Mardan and lose my exclamation point or catch more fish and always have the exclamation point? But like, see how the water's like green? See how everything's kind of green? It'll change around like nine o'clock. I'll point it out. Damn it, dude. All because I choked. I should be fucking blitzing through ABS grinds. Oh, I can't think about it. I just have to keep telling myself that the first time I tried it, it took me multiple days as well. I'm even better at it now. It's just showing that it's that difficult. Wow, that was a quick catch. Good shit. That is 
exactly what I needed mentally. I will say, after like three days of just getting screwed and losing my mind to the point where I will not enjoy playing this game, um, that is when the game gives me a five shot that's literally so close I can just hit square to move it where I need to be and I'll have the glitch done with four extra swings. Um, I'll be happy about that. It'll feel good. It'll feel like I have earned that give me. That gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, but like right now, no. I've definitely earned it with some phenomena, phenomena, phenomenal speed of uh, shots. My swings have been perfect. The game's just fucking broken. That's one thing I'd change about Svita. I'm not exactly sure how I'd do it. But I would change around the abilities of a lot of the characters and stuff. And... Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Um... I would make it so your dad gives you an extra swing, or two maybe, in Svita. You know, Svita rewards and fishing rewards is something I would change for this game. Solid fish. There, there's the water change. It's really noticeable now. Great fish, honestly. I guess fishing with the zoom is really for being out in Yorda Valley, honestly. Because there is no exclamation mark. I really thought about that. What is the point of the zoom? Is it for people who don't like the exclamation mark? That's so interesting. I've never thought about that. I guess it's just another type of visual cue. I like to watch the bobber and then have the exclamation in my peripheral, so that's like the go. I'm feeling for the bite through the vibration of the controller. I'm watching for that moment the water goes to, like, shaking. Um, and then in my peripheral I have the exclamation mark. It gives me three confirmations that it's time. Is that overkill? Yeah. But it's what I do. Because in some situations, like you were to Valley, you lose one of them. Solid fishing night, though. I'll actually spend my points, I think. I'm scared to go up to 100. I know that person that mentioned the glitch was probably lying. But... What if? Maybe I stop at 99. I mean, it's not gonna really hurt me at the moment. worth a reel in? I don't think it is. We've had some good luck. I'll let you do your thing.
I wonder what I should level after this. I think strength. Strength or grip? I think I'm gonna go strength. That or flight. I kinda like not having max flight though. Honestly, the night might take longer than the dungeon. You know, honestly, it does. For certain. After I've gotten these upgrades, almost certainly. Exactly one, one set of bombs. to be able to blitz through this and catch our fish. Um, I can make the missile pot at any point now, I realize. Do I want to switch to something on max, but... Might as well keep the, uh, ride pod going. Oh, nice. Come on. Is this it? That's a clown. Not bad. You have not given me anything worthwhile. I guess you're gonna keep it that way. Alright, that's the spoon. That 
rendered in late. Oh, it's right on the ramp, that's interesting. That's the one I want. Yikes. So I kind of miss those flying enemies. I probably just had a bad day and then missed a bunch of enemies and then just never wanted to use this again. So they are annihilating right now. Nice. It's better than the clown I just got. If it spawns down here, I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, there's nothing. Although if it spawns down here, I might be able to actually just get back out of bounds that one way. Okay, so we gotta go up top. our magic crystal and our slash branch. Nice, in reverse order. seem that empty this run. It's a lot of people. It's like the first time it's ever looked like an actual back room. That's probably something I would change. I mean, it's kind of fun if you were, like, speed running, that there'd be no enemies back here, but, like, there should always be a bunch of chests and stuff back here. This is a good one. This is an easy fuck up. Such an easy fuck up. enough? I think so. Alright, I hate to do this to y'all, but I'm gonna pull up the video.
Nope, wrong video. Or, wrong channel. Uh, videos. Oh god, what a stupid fake games. This game's real. Shut the fuck up. Okay, never mind. He definitely does show how to get out of bounds through the other exit. That's how that okay, that's how I got confused if I remember correctly. Okay. Okay, so chop slash z wait, hold on. What does that say? This can also be used to go through the uh, rainbow butterfly wood star barrier, and it works with both nearest and chop slash zero round modes. Okay. West next to a corner. Okay. Oh, we got the corner. Let's go for it. Yep. Are we good? Um, yep. We're out of bounds. We did it. You got it. It only took me three hours this time. Oh my gosh. Thank fucking God. It didn't take me four days. Oh. We did it! I didn't fish. I know. I know. Yes! Oh my gosh. Thank you, Pokemon fan! Whoo! That feels good. How long was the last episode? I might celebrate with another... I might... Quit while I'm ahead. 149? Uh... Yeah, why not? So, sorry for the short episodes. I mean, the last one ended in anger. This one will end in positivity. Um, I might actually edit all the fails out and the uh, wasted grinding time and then put it all together to make it one episode. Um, that would be fun. But at the same time, I like do I like I do like showing the grind. That's like the whole reason I got into streaming was I was so tired of watching other people like edit out stuff that I thought was interesting, but they left in stuff that's like fucking stupid if you ask me. 
and it's just like, well, why don't I just fucking stream if I think I'm so good? And, well, I am. And it's actually been a lot of fun. Let's go to Fish Monster Swamp. Good shit! We fucking did it! Seems redundant, but, you know. That's such a weight off my shoulders to have those two glitches done. Oh my gosh, that is such a weight off my shoulders to have that glitch done. Both of them, honestly. I wasn't really worried about the Balance Valley one. I just needed... I just needed more than four swings, and I could get the Balance Valley one. Any place, place the sphere anywhere within Balance Valley and give me five swings, and I'm confident I could probably get out of balance with like 80% likelihood. Um, put it on the same strip as the rocks and I'm out of bounds like give me three swings which is like what you're pretty much gonna get um, that was quick what time is it oh nice okay actually need to buy some apples hungry for apples over here um, man, I feel so, that's, ugh, I was so scared. I almost, after that first one, I almost gave up. I almost just turned the PS2 off and just walked away. Oh my gosh. Oh, Bobos and Donkeys being on lures. That's another thing I would change. I would also, again, split Hama Hama and Kaji onto their own lures, but... I don't know if that, that, that should be possible for somebody decent at modding. I don't know. I don't know anything about modding. I know nothing. Not a... Mada. I am not a Mada. That's what I would probably change though. Sphere rewards, so like you could actually grind useful things like level up powders, um, certain coins, certain gems. Um, make the hard levels of Sphere like the really good rewards. I think like the best reward at this point in the game is a double pudding. And it is in chapter 3. Um. Like, repeating, I mean. The repeating reward, I think, should be better. I think the first one should be good, the second one should be alright, and then the repeating one should be something that's just like, okay, I actually need a couple of those. The first one should be the best, obviously. If there's going to be one that, like, made you hesitate, it should be the second one. And even then, it should be, like, 
something that you get and you're just like, oh, well, I, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use that. Well, I could sell 20 wind crystals. You know what? I'm going to sell the 20 wind crystals and know that like I'm not losing out on any crystals because I just got them. But like some of them give you four. What? Stop. One of them, I think, gives you nine earth element repeating. Like, no. Why is that a reward? Felt a little bit of that mysterious lag. I wonder if that's caused by that glitch. I'm guessing there'd be no relation. It's hard to say, though. up with five small small guys come on small guys mardan fries oh baron and fries that would have been funnier but these are Mar mardans Great episode name. Small guys, Baron, and Fries. If they aren't small guys. <gasps> yes! Point five. I think I'm just good to remove these guys. Obviously, I think I can beat twenty one. Um, point one with a 21 or even smaller um, but I don't need the duplicate tiny guys if I can catch one more this will be insane the question is what to do with my fishing points 99 or hundreds? I'm thinking 99s for now. Okay, uh, maybe 30 some more seconds. All right, um, great episode. I'm so glad it's over. Um, wow. I can't believe we actually got it. We did it. We did it. I knew you would. Oh, what does he say? What does King Knuckles say to Kite in that scene? I can't remember. Um, it has to feel just right. Oh, God, man. That, that literally just... As I looked at it again... Relief. I totally forgot that, yeah, 
I accidentally watched when I finally thought I had a good setup for Sveta. I watched the wrong part of the video and got out of bounds in the wrong spot. I totally forgot that, yeah, he showcases both uh, Rainbow Butterfly Woods out of bounds. Well, at least it wasn't 35 that time. <laughs> first. I probably could have gotten my stuff from Fabio. It doesn't matter. As long as I don't do what I did last time, I'm totally fine. But I was such an idiot about it. I, I bought 999 of every bait and then sold them because I was like, oh, I need uh, inventory space. But it's just like that amount of inventory space didn't matter. I should have just kept them. That was so dumb. Alright, so let's finish Balance Valley. Not now. I'm gonna end the episode. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my weekend. I'm actually gonna enjoy myself. I'm so fucking glad. Oh my god. We'll finish Balance Valley next time, though. We'll get these levels over with. Um, oh wait. I don't have SETI with me, do I? Oh god. Oh my god. Stop. What the fuck? Okay. Now we're going to save, and I'm going to leave. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend or whatever day it is, whatever you're doing while you're watching this. If you're shiny hunting, if you're just sitting at work, if you're just laying in bed staring at the ceiling because you can't fall asleep because you can't forget that embarrassing thing you did. Um, man, have I been there. Man, have I been there. Usually I start shiny hunting after that to get my mind off of it, though. So here we go. Until next time. Yes! Got that. Woo! Feels good. Feels good. Put my controller up. Take my headset off. Set my cords up so my cat doesn't chew on it. Take care, everyone. Thank you for stopping by. Thanks for watching. And have a good one.